Did you know you can now sign up for Meta.ai and generate stunning AI images completely for free? In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to turn these free AI generated images into an eye catching t shirt design using Adobe Illustrator. We will start by generating vector style images on Meta.ai, then scale them perfectly for print, and finally bring them to life on a t shirt design that's ready to sell or wear. So let's dive in and unleash some creative magic all powered by AI and Adobe Illustrator. First, go to meta.ai and sign up for a free account. And at the time of recording the video, you can generate any images for free on meta.ai using similar styles that you can see now on your screen. You can check any of these styles and generate any image using simple prompts through the prompt box. And for this video, we would like to generate a vector style image. So let's start by this prompt. I'm going to write a t-shirt design of a cute cat vector style and press on the generate button. And this is going to generate some cute images. I like this one. So if you press on it it will be opened on a new tab and you can regenerate similar images so let's try another prompt create a modern t-shirt design featuring a funny vector and press on the generate button this time i got four different results but with most of them are with a t-shirt mock-up this is not what we exactly want but this one looks perfect if you press on the regenerate button, you will get similar images to this one. This is even better. You can also change the prompt on the generated image and write, for example, on a plain background. And we got a different result, but on a white t-shirt or maybe a plain look looking t-shirt as per the, the text that we have generated. And these are some of the examples that were generated using the same prompt. I still look, I still like this one as the perfect one for my t-shirt. Of course, we need to remove the background. So let's press on the three dots and press on the download button and save it to our desktop as a JP, JPEG image. The next step is to upscale this image. We are going to upscale it first to create sharp lines before converting it to vector. And for this step, I'm going to use the one of the free upscaler websites. I'm going to use imageupscaler.com because it allows you to upscale your image up to four times the size for free. Simply upload the image, press on the upscale button and once it's ready press on the download image now we have our image upscaled the second step is to go to your adobe illustrator open a new file or simply open the upscaled image and this will directly import the image to a new working document so the next step is to convert it to vector so to do that press on the image trace button and this will convert the image to vector and by vector I I mean you can you would be able to change the color or upscale it without losing quality once and then press on the expand button then we're going to ungroup our image to remove the unnecessary parts like the t-shirt and the white background from the image itself so simply choose the extra ports and press on the delete button like so and then you will need to select all the unnecessary ports manually and delete them or you can use the magic wand tool to select so to select one of the colors of the image and remove it but make sure not to remove any of the same color from the original image then i'm going to delete the outline the white outline and the blue outline 
that I got around the image. I don't want it, so simply keep selecting these parts and delete them. The next step is to refine the image. Let's first select all the parts and group it. Select everything on your board and group the image. So the next uh, step is to refine our image. To do that, I'm going to redraw the parts that have some problems on my image and change some of the colors that do not fit. So for example, there are a couple of unnecessary colors on the nose of the dock. So the next uh, step is to fix some of the parts on the dock that were not correctly generated by AI or maybe that have mixed colors. So to do that, I'm going to use the pen tool to draw on some of these areas like the nose for example so simply the next step is to fix the image i'm going to change the colors of some of the parts on the glasses for example use the pen tool to fix some of the parts of the ai generated image to do that i'm simply going to re draw on some of these areas to fix the look or to remove some of the unnecessary shapes so simply i'm um, selecting the same background color and using the pen tool to draw on some of the parts of the image and i'm also changing the colors of some of the areas manually so let's for example draw on this white spot and change the color to the same background color and we can we also need to fix this part on the right side of the dog cheek so simply using the pen tool i'm going to draw on it and the left part as well you don't have to draw perfect shapes just try to clean the image as much as possible and the nose as well the nose the area of the nose does not look completely right so what i'm going to do is to fix it also using the pen tool by drawing a shape on it and changing the the color of it let's use the same technique to fix some of the parts of the head so once you're satisfied with the final result, make sure to group your image and then it's time to add our text. Using the text tool, I'm going to add my upper text. Make sure to change the, te the, the font size and choose one of your fonts. My text for this design says stay positive going to change the color to white and then I'm going to change some cute looking font this bubble mint font looks great so I'm going to use it for my upper text stay positive and now I'm adding the lower text happiness fuels your mind play with your fonts until you find something that is suitable for your design so I'm changing the happiness word or the font of the word happiness to a different font I'm adding some effects now I will add some effects to my upper text simply press on the text and press on the word options from the upper menu and choose the style that you want to create word effects for the text and then using the and tool once again i'm adding some lighting effects drawing some lighting effects to be added to the background of my design as simple as that nothing complicated and once you are happy with the final design make sure to group everything and this is how the final design is going to look 
so once again make sure to align your text with the design and once you're satisfied select group your text expand it and press on the expand button and to export your design press on file export selection or export as choose png make sure to have a 300 dpi resolution and then press ok to export your design in a png format ready for print that was a quick tutorial on how you can use meta ai images to create a t-shirt design using adobe illustrator if you like if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button and subscribe for future tutorials